guys, it's Sarah and I have a book haul today. Now, notice this is not a in and out book haul. The reason for that is because I have bought some books. It was retail therapy for me and I was kind of going through a really difficult time. So I bought books to make myself feel a little bit better and um, it just happened and I'm going to just kind of let myself buy them and not worry about unhauling more books at this point. And I'm just going to let April be my really hard month <laughs> and I just needed to feel better. So that's what happened. So, but starting back in May, I will go back to the in and out type thing. But um, the difficult thing I was dealing with was uh, our 14 year old dog passed away in the beginning of April and it was really, really hard. He was a Boston Terrier. I'll put a picture of him here. But uh, he was 14 and we had been with him. He'd been with us since he was 10 weeks old. So he was literally our first baby. He was with us his entire life. He was a very, very happy dog and he made us very happy. So we had a really, really good long life with him. Um, but he did pass on in the beginning of April it was time he was ready. <laughs> we still are like trying to deal with it. Um, because he was just such a bright light in our lives. But, um, so that's what we've been kind of dealing with in April. So I did go ahead and just buy myself some books because I, you know, it was a really hard time and he, you know, got really sick. And so we were really spending a lot of time concentrating on him. So when I wasn't concentrating on him, I was buying but it's okay, it's fine. I'm allowed to do that every so often and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, so I got these from multiple multiple places. So first I'm gonna start with what I got at Walmart. So I ended up getting What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. This is one of hers that I don't have. I need to really start reading more of her books because I think I have like five or six now. Uh, but this is actually going to be made into a movie and I didn't know that. Um, it says it on the cover here, so. I definitely will want to read this before I see the movie, but I am excited to um, read this one. This one is about a woman who thinks she knows what's going on in her life and uh, she ends up, I want to say maybe she was in an accident and then she wakes up and everything in her life is completely different than what she thought it was, like completely different. So I think that's really interesting and um, I'm excited to see what it's all about. The next one I got at Walmart is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This just came out in paperback. And this is about a politician's daughter, I think a, a senator's daughter, who had plans for the summer, but then she ends up having to go and live with him over the summer because he's in the middle of a scandal. And so just a lot of things about her life are starting to kind of change and not be what she expected. Um, there's a lot of dogs in here too with, um, I think she's like a dog walker or something. That's one of her jobs. But uh, I'm excited to read some Morgan Matson. I haven't read anything by her yet. I do have two of her books now, so I need to go ahead and do that. But this would probably be a really good summer read. I did get a couple things at Book Outlet as well. Um, I just got on there one day just to see what they had. And they had a couple things that I've been eyeing for a while. And then they kept coming out of stock. And I couldn't ever like get it when it was in stock. But then I finally got them. First one is Gemina. This is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the sequel to Illuminae. And um, I just, I haven't read Illuminae yet. But I do have it. <laughs> but I've heard very good things about these. These are young adult science fiction um, about planets and... Um, other planets trying to destroy this planet and it's supposed to be really really amazing this is also told in different um like case files and text messages and um you know just kind of different formatting than like a normal sit down novel so i think that's really cool i'm also going to grab the audiobook of this and um listen to it as i read it because i heard that the audiobooks for these are amazing as well and they're very atmospheric so i'll probably kind of do like a listen as i'm reading them as well the other two books I got on Book Outlet are two sequels in a series. I have the first one that I got from Book Outlet a while ago, but I got the next two books in the Fallen Kingdom series, which is Rebel Spring and Gathering Darkness, both by Morgan Rhodes. These are both paperbacks, and that's kind of what I'm starting to collect of this series. I hope I like it. I have not read the first one yet, um, but I think that's going to be a summer project for me is to start reading this series to see if I really like it, because I think there's at least five books out now. So... 
I need to get going to see if I really like them and if I want to keep going. And um, I'm really excited to get into these. These are young adult fantasy books. I also got two books on Amazon with a gift card that I got from my parents a while ago and I'm finally starting to use it now. Um, the first one is Tiny Pretty Things and this is by Sonia Chara, Chara Ipatra and Danielle Clayton. These are really hard names. Okay, so this is about ballerinas from what I'm understanding, like a dance troupe or a dance ballerina company, is that what they're called? Um, I danced in high school. I still love dance. I love watching all the dancing shows and all that. So I've heard very, very good things about this and I'm excited to see what it's all about. Also on Amazon, I got My Brilliant Friend and this is by Elena Ferrante or Elena Ferrante. This is actually translated from Italian and I've just heard really, really good things about this. I believe this follows a set of friends who had grown up together and they were just very, very close and kind of where they go, where they end up going, and how their friendship still remains intact and kind of ups and downs that they go through. But I've heard extremely, extremely good things about this book series in general. Now I have a few things that I got at Goodwill, and the first one, going off of that one, <laughs> is the book number two in this series of My Brilliant Friend, and this is called The Story of a New Name. And I found this at Goodwill and thought, this is a fantastic copy, super cheap. I got it for $2. So I actually ended up buying this one first and then I went and bought <laughs> the first one on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so now I have the first two books and I can check it out and see what I think. Next one I got at Goodwill is a Jojo Moyes book and this is The Girl You Left Behind. And I have only read, I've read two books by Jojo Moyes so far and I really have enjoyed them. So I'm kind of starting to slowly collect a lot of her books. So I really need to start actually reading them and um, seeing what I really think. But I love these covers. I just think they're awesome. And I saw the um, person who worked at Goodwill was kind of stocking the shelves while I was there and I saw her put this on there and as soon as she walked away I was like Argh! so <laughs> I grabbed it um but yeah I I've loved everything I've read by Jojo Moya so far and I'm excited to keep going the next one that I picked up is one I've never heard of um, but it's called The Yard and this is by Alex Grecian this is something that is set in the late 1800s and it follows Scotland Yard and it's kind of um right after Jack the Ripper, the whole big failure of Jack the Ripper since they never caught him. And um, someone knew that the police is trying to figure out and capture and all that stuff, but they're kind of still hurt about not finding Jack the Ripper. So I just thought it sounded kind of interesting. It might be a little Sherlock Holmesy, which I think would be really fun. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And the last one that I picked up at Goodwill was, it's huge, guys. It's a big one. Titan. This is by Ron Chernow. Ron Chernow is the author of Alexander Hamilton, which I'm currently reading and really, really enjoying. But he is a historian. And then um, he has another one coming out, which I think is about Grant, uh, one of the generals. I want to say maybe Grant. Uh, I don't know. He has one coming out, I think, later this year. And I it's a general. I can't remember if it's Grant or if it's someone else, but I'll, I'll figure it out and then I'll put it down here below. But this one is about John Rockefeller and I am really interested in John, Ron Chernow's writing because I'm reading Alexander Hamilton and I'm not a history person very much. So like, you know, I would sometimes find it boring, but I'm really loving Hamilton and the way he writes makes me understand it and it's not overwhelming and it makes sense to me and he makes me laugh. So I'm really interested in writing and reading any of his history books. So when I saw this one, I was like, hmm, interested. So I don't know much about the Rockefellers. All I know is that I think John Rockefeller was one of the first billionaires in America ever. And he was very controversial, I believe. So I'm excited to actually like read this and see what the whole family history is about. And, you know, they have buildings named after them in New York City now. So I'm interested to see what this is all about. But this is all about um, John Rockefeller. And these last two books I picked up, I actually got them from a friend. And she was unhauling them. And I asked, her if I could buy them from her so I did and these are books that I have 
read both of them. I got them from the library when I read them, but I've been thinking about purchasing them and having the trilogy on my shelves, but I hadn't actually like taken the plunge and actually purchased them yet. So when she said she was going to get rid of hers, I was like, hey, I'll help you out. <laughs> so I got the first two books in the Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy by Sarah J. Mass. Now this one is the first book. It's a Court of Thorns and Roses. This is the U.S. paperback and then her other one was the U.K. paperback which is a Court of Mist and Fury. These are not the same size because this one is a U.K. but honestly like it's that much. It's fine. I'm really not going to worry about that. <laughs> Sometimes I probably would have, um, if I had been buying them new, I would have gotten the same set, but it's fine. So um, I have read both of these, like I said. I loved both of them, and um, especially this one. And book number three is coming out next month in May, so I have already pre-ordered it, and I did pre-order the UK version. Um, so that way when they're sitting on my shelves, it'll be like a little taller, and then the other two will be the same size. So that's totally fine. And I prefer paperbacks anyway, so. Um, yeah, but I got these from my friend Jenny, so thank you Jenny for letting me trade with you and do all that stuff, but I'm excited to have these on my shelves now, and then I will be getting number three in May. And that's it guys, so just a little treat to myself this month and, you know, um, just kind of a hard time that we went through, but we're coping and we're doing well. We are definitely missing him. He was, you know, like I said, such a big part of our lives for the last 14 years and, um, but we're, we're, we're doing good. So, um, that's going to be it for me today. So coming back in May, I will be doing the in and out again. And uh, so April was just kind of a rough one <laughs> for me. And you know, books make me happy. So I just need a little bit of that in a hard time that we were going through. All right, I will talk to you guys again soon. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys purchased in April. Let me know if there were any new releases that are coming out that you're looking forward to as well. And I will see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.